to three, yeah? One, two, three. Okay, so we're here today live at a press conference at uh, Mayfair in London. And um, this is about Amir Khan's fight against Carlos Molina on the 15th of December. And it's going to be showing on Show Sports, um, American Network. And we've got uh, Richard Espinaza here. Okay, um, Stephen Espinaza rather, okay, and we're going to um, ask you a couple of questions with regard to, um, you know, how, how, how excited are you having Amir Khan debuting on show sports? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a big step for us. Uh, Amir has not fought on Showtime uh, previously. Uh, Showtime has a long history with UK fighters. Um, Ricky Hatton deb debuted in the US on Showtime got a long history with Carl Crotch and Joe Calzaghi, and so we're we're happy to have uh, Amir Khan added to the list. Amir, in our perspective, is one of the most well-known fighters, you know, in the United States, who's developed in a relatively short period of time a really strong fan base, um, and that's because of his style. He's a very exciting style. He's never in a boring fight. So for us, it's a, it's a major coup. Um, there was uh, there was a rather hotly contested Slightly pursuit well gone, yeah? uh, of Amir <laughs> to get the, the rights to this fight. And so it, it took quite an effort to get it. Okay, so with regard to uh, the promotion, promotion, what steps are you going to be taking you know, from here to make it a success? Well, we, um, we have a, a franchise called All Access, which uh, provides sort of a, a behind the scenes look. And we have a, a slightly different take on it. Uh, we like to uh, get a very personal, uh, intimate view of the boxer, let the boxer tell his own story. So the U.S. and the U.K. fans are probably familiar with some of uh, Amir's story, but we like to show you know, probably a little bit more personal and intimate view than possibly you've seen before and give a, you know, a, a longer term view. So rather than one or two interviews, we'll be visiting Amir throughout training camp um, and putting out a lot of video. Uh, digital and, and through our channel as well, uh, in order to truly, really engage the fans. So basically, you're going to have your own version of 24/7. Correct. Okay. And what kind of contact um, are you going to be having throughout um, this next few months and training camp with well, with Khan Promotions, Amir Khan? You know, what kind of level? Um, well, you know, Khan uh, Khan Promotions is intimately involved throughout mm -hmm. the promotion. Uh, I, I think in in particular on this one, this is sort of a um, a new development in his moving his training camp and starting with a new trainer. So uh, it's a it's a fascinating story for our audience to be able to follow, and it's a it's a big change in in the preparation of his fight. So I think you know the uh, the way this will work going forward, it remains to be seen. It's a big adjustment for everyone. Okay, we can see um, in the last few years, show sports have actually overtaken some of these other smaller networks. Um, how how has that developed? Um, well, I think uh, in terms of my personal strategy, you know, it's a focus on on really the stars. You know, this sport is a, a star-driven sport. Um, and by stars, I mean those fighters who are, who are well-known and are fan-friendly. You know, so in, in particular, you know, the two that jump to mind uh, off the top of my head are, are Amir and Ricky Hatton. You know, they're both known as action fighters, very personable, very articulate. Those are exactly the kinds of fighters that we like to, to feature. Okay, that's great. Good luck. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you.